So, uh, we have the four uh, main demos, notebook one to, to, to four. The notebook zero is just a reference uh, from Sealed and explain how we build all these uh, uh, blocks here uh, and there, the acquisition data, image data, and data containers. And we will start with uh, Evelina that will uh, introduce uh, a little bit of tomography, run uh, FPB reconstruction, and CGLS. Then we will go to Ticon of regularization and introduce the block framework. Then we will run uh, real data from the diamond light source, and then go to the uh, PDHT and run a total variation reconstruction. In the afternoon session, we will do uh, again uh, total variation reconstruction for multispectral uh, data by line work. So, Evelina, you want to start? Any questions? Okay. Can you stop sharing? Yeah. Do you want this? Not normative. Uh, good morning, everyone. Can you hear me fine? So the next one is notebook three, which is reconstructing a data set from the diamond light source, which is the UK's national synchrotron facility. So it's parallel beam geometry, the same as the last two, except for now we've got a two dimensional detector. And so you've got this 3D volume you're gonna be reconstructing. Um, so the notebook will show you through, or take you through how to read in your data set and depending where you've acquired it, you'll have to re, well, first of all, yeah, set it, set it up, well, transpose the data in the, into the format you expect. And, oh, I should show you the acquisition. So this is the acquisition data now. You can see it's a, well, it's a shard of metal in a base with a really low attenuating cap on. The notebook will take you through some pre-processing of the data, uh, cropping the projections and centering it on the detector before building up, or is it setting up the 3D geometry for the reconstruction and again using Tikhonov and FBP to now reconstruct a 3D data set. And so, yeah, hopefully by the end, you'll be confident reading in your own data sets, pre-processing and using the same reconstruction algorithms we've already seen, but for real data. 